my rain hat on. Um, I've been thinking about all the, <clears throat> this shirt is dirty. I'm getting ready to paint the ceiling. So I put on this, this t-shirt is going to have to go. <laughs> but, um, I was thinking about all the problems we've been having with the police, um, shooting, uh, people and, um, you know, I guess they have a procedure where they're supposed to say, like, yell something. So usually they, 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 it's like when you're on the camera, they're always like, uh, yelling, like, uh, uh, I told you not to do this. Which it's, it's like, it's like, it's like, like, okay, you killed them and then you handcuff them. But anyway, I was remembering this time I was taking the city bus, which I haven't taken the city bus since then. I went down to, um, uh, to the city hall, um, because, uh, Steve Coleman, uh, representative of, this area um was having a townhouse meeting and on the bus like uh like the bus driver's like talking i really didn't want to talk to the bus driver because like they just want you to agree with them and you know their and uh, their conversation is just it's just ignorant but you know and so like uh something was said and i was like it, i was like yeah let me i just wanted to get off the bus really because i was tired of listening to the bus driver, you know, and them like getting really excited and loud because, you know, like they think their opinion is the only one, you know, and um, I don't really give a fuck about their opinion. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, opinions are relevant. It's like I want them to keep their eye. I really was getting off the bus just so I could get off the bus because they, were, you know, they were too busy trying to have a conversation and driving. And so like when I when I get when I get to the city hall day, the people with the bus you know, like, um, the local um, bus here in Memphis, uh, the transportation people, whatever, um, like, they actually stood up in the thing, I'm, I, I, you know, like, they really thought I, that, that, they're, they're, first of all, they're gonna, they're gonna keep, the federal government's funding, like, transportation, make sure that we have some type of transportation, you know, because basically we, we don't have any, um, uh, you know, bus service, but it's not, be, it's, it's because of the, the policies, it's just like with the police, it's because of their policies, you know what I'm saying, that they have the problem, you know, um, it has nothing to do with the people, that the customers, the customers just get insulted, uh, it, uh, you know, like the bus driver has a bad day or something, she's gonna like yell at one of the, you know, the passengers, and, you know, we're, I remember one morning, like, she's like, well, we're just gonna sit here until so-and-so stops doing it. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's like, like you could just imagine what type of horrible parent this person must really be, because like they, they're, they're acting like they're, like, they, like this is like how they would do their children, and you're like, well, you know, and then like a couple of people got off the bus because they were going to be late for work and just started like running, you know, and and basically that's what I did that day. I was like, you know, here, and and we had the same thing with the police, like they don't know anything how to communicate with the with the with the community it's like they think the like they think the community is against them you know because of their behavior you know opposed to changing their behavior or or change really what they need to do is change the policies they're not that as an individual that bus driver is irrelevant to what's going on with the company in the bus situation irrelevant but her attitude and the way they um you know like first of all i don't give a fuck if you're a christian that's the first thing you should leave that shit home because to me like 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 i mean like it's my experience in this neighborhood that's aids infected they're all christians right okay like for example this one brother's really mad at his sister because you know like they all going to be gangs just like the police think they're a gang here Okay, part of this gang thing is what they do to women. You have to belitter them, insult them, and, you know, and pretty much like that thing, that's how they think they can control you by, you know, showing their lack of upbringing. So they have no self-respect. You know what I'm saying? In my mind, somebody that just doesn't know me and just, that's all they do is show disrespect, that's how they were brought up. It's hard to change how their behavior that they develop between the years of zero to five, you know, so it's like, it's like being around somebody emotionally five years old, any moment they're able to have a tension tantrum, 
you know, your words can hurt. I'm like, nigger. I mean, oh my God. Uh, you know, like, somebody calls me a nigger. It's like, uh, if I don't like them, I can find a lot of things wrong with every individual that doesn't insult them besides using their race or their gender. You know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you can talk about my rain hat, but it's supposed to be raining. I was going to um, go outside for a minute, pick the trash out, but didn't rain yet. I'm waiting. <laughs> But anyway, so the problem is, is that instead of them thinking about the, the policies and following the money trail, you know, why don't, why doesn't the bus make money? It, it, one of the reasons why the bus doesn't make money is because, uh, the, the, um, because it's not supposed to here, you know, they want people in cars. So that's like the number one thing. And plus the way the bus route is, it's not really... It, it doesn't really work for, like, getting you where you need to go on time. You know, three hours. It takes three hours on the bus to go where you would go in a car in 15 minutes. That's, like, the real problem. So, and, and then, you know. Uh, and then, like, with the police, the real problem is, again, <clears throat> they don't understand that as an individual, they're irrelevant. You know what I'm saying? It's just like in Dallas, they're like crying, crying over like the, the five policemen they got shot. Oh, it's terrible. And you have to say this. You have to patronize. You have to say, you know, like like here, like the police think they're a gang. You have to say, not all policemen think they're super fly pimps. Even though we've had multiple arrests since I've been here, uh, uh, police uh, being arrested for prostitute, you know, for like, I guess soliciting. I, I guess they don't want to call the pimps prostitutes for trafficking teenage girls. Um, oh, but anyway, let me go back to what the, the gang guys do. I'm sorry. This, but anyway, this is what happened with his sister. She likes this one guy, right? So she goes with him to a place. His other friends are there. So when he has sex, the other friends, they all jump and have sex with her. So the brother's mad at the sister. And I'm thinking... If he knew what, like, you know what I'm saying? This is what a brother and sister should sit down and, like, look. This is what these guys are doing to you females, you know. Um, so, you know, you know what I'm saying? It, it was up to the brother to tell the sister. Now, like, you know what I'm saying? She didn't know because nobody told her. So, basically, you know, it, it was rape. You know, if you ask me, it's definitely 100% rape. But it's blamed on the victim. Like, she should have known that this cute handsome guy that was giving her all this attention and lying to her to get her to the place was actually a liar and pretty much they on the down low because if you if you if you if you if you if you're a bunch of guys and you're hanging out in your man cave and you're you know you get all getting drunk and you get one female and all you're having sex with this with this one female there's a lot of dick touching that's a lot that's a little sickening you know and i think a lot so in a sense here, they, you know, like, so the gang mentality mostly is a, it, it's sort of silly because, you know, that's like the little rascal shill. You know, like, a, 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 after like nine or ten, you know, it, you should be like, it'd be like, um like, in New York when I used to see like the old gang, especially let's say the Chinese, the way they have it. You know, you start off, you know, with like your baby gangs, you know, where they, they do stuff. Like, you know, you know, pick up from the U.S. Marshal the supply of cocaine that's coming into the, the area. And, you know, just drop off a box here, deliver to, to different uh, office buildings back at the height of cocaine, whatever. You know, they have them do stuff like that, deliveries. And, and then, like, the teenagers, they, they went and they... Um, uh, they were no longer a gang. They were a junior, you know, the junior mafia, right? They would go pick up payments from different business to keep them from robbing the businesses, just like a tradition in the Asian thing, right? And then when they get, after they, you know, they get older, they're in the mob. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, oh, we're a gang and we're now like in our 50s or 60s. You know what I'm saying? That, you know what I'm saying? So the police in a way, they actually, I heard like the, like the police chief say, we're the big gang here. That mentality is, <laughs> that, that means that they're, 
Okay, not only that, 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 that you have them, like, all the time you see on TV, them getting arrested, the trafficking, you know, uh, uh, teenagers, you know, so there's sort of this pedophile, you know, pedophilia thing going on with them. Um, in the juvenile, um, the juvenile thing, uh, uh, courts, like, where they had a the juvenile, they were just beating them up. I mean, those kids came out so horrible, because I have an example of kids they came out. This one female over here, she's crazy as hell. I really call the cops because the the save the children, but you know, fuck it. <laughs> you know, because I forgot I did like a video thing where I was like, you know, don't call the cops. I'm like, don't call the cops if you need to, if you if you your old man kicks you out of the fucking house. And I forget they don't have the um the um they just didn't get it in school the way to comprehend. They didn't get how to uh, exercise, you know, uh, your common sense when it comes to um, uh, storytelling or or, or or learning. You know, what I'm saying they 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 become incorrigible, you know, uh, because of 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 the early whoopings and the um, the the uh, early introduced to sex before puberty, you know. Uh, just because, and and the only reason why it's just as bad for boys and girls, even though people think, oh, well, this boy's having sex at nine years old, is because they haven't matured enough, you know. Because like, it's, as you get taller, like say you start off as a baby, and as the baby grows, so does like the brain still growing, the stomach's still growing, the lungs are still growing. That's when they say it's not developed enough. It's you know, and and so if you're nine years old, you're not developed enough. Your body. Um, your balls, as they say, hasn't dropped. Once your balls drop around 13, 12, 13, whatever for a guy, then you produce sperm. Before that, you can't produce sperm. All you can do maybe is pee on somebody, you know, but you don't actually, you know, have the, the ability because your body just hasn't, you know, grown. And and, and that, and I guess, you can, but anyway, so it's very devastating uh, because, so, um, your body's not ready, and it, you know, cause it, you know, um, and so we have we have a society here where it's like so like they, so the police wouldn't answer because I said something like that on a video, so they're not gonna answer my call and bring no police here, and that's like sort of very typical of ignorant racist type of South because it's it's just like what the the Republicans are doing, the GOPs are doing, they're not doing any work. You know, that's supposed to punish me. But then at the time, I thought, good, because she's fucking those kids up. I was sitting on the porch. She had the kids run around for three hours, just run around trying to fuck me. I'm like, cool, as long as they don't come up here with their with their little rocks and their little sticks. The next day, she has them with the man next door, you know, because she's using the kids. I don't know what she told the police, but whatever is supposed to involve me and the kids, which, you know, it was it was her pulling a gun on me. You know, the kids never had nothing to do, but uh, she's going to put her kids in. So then, then the kids were running around two hours with golf clubs. So the lady, like, and then I was talking to another lady, and the little bastard was coming up behind me with a baseball bat. So I'm like, you know what? I'm sick of this shit. I'm like, I don't know why she's doing this to her kids, but they're fucked up. Because so I'm thinking, this little bitch just want to go to fucking, you know, she's training them to be little murderers or and, and finish their life in prison, you know. But the family, but see, the situation is that, they all went to like the church. They all went to the same schools. They all live in the same neighborhood. They're all getting, you know what I'm saying? It's it. They're like maybe like the propaganda from Jim Crow area, you know, actually did an excellent job on twisting their minds, you know. But they're not gonna think about, hey, maybe, maybe like it, maybe you know, like I shouldn't take my shit out on everybody else. Like the police, they're taking their hostility on everybody else. Like everybody's out to get them. Nobody, you know. So what we what we really need to do is as do like the NRA says and start our own militia. Like if you have block associations, you know what I'm saying. That could be your own militia. That is our our the Second Amendment. You get you have the right to start your own militia because in a sense, if we don't, the policies that dictate really what the police are about is it, it, is corrupt. It's corrupt. It's just it. 
So they're they're so and it, and it makes it little chaos. So in a sense, if we really want uh, uh, to to go along with what the what the Republicans are talking about, you know, we got to keep the the you know we have to keep our Second Amendment. What we have to do is is make our own militia. We have to be able to protect and and, and keep ourselves safe. Because who else could keep your kid? You know, who else is going to keep your teenage daughter safe? If the police think they're a gang, and they think they're a bunch of pimps and dope dealers, who who is it but the parents? You know, we have a problem here. If we don't want, if we have a problem with with something, because like anybody could probably fill out a stupid report. I did. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, if you're, if it, you know, you still need it for insurance purposes, but it might be in our own best interest as a community to build our own militia, you know, to to patrol our own neighborhoods. That that's what that guy was doing in Florida when he shot that little boy that was um running uh running to the store during halftime. You know, you if we can't walk down the street. If our kids can't play out, play out, and if we have women, you know, she was one of those two that they did that jump in when they raped her. Bitch is crazy as hell. Her her mother is 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 has some um, has has cancer, missing a breast, and I don't know why even like I don't know why they didn't offer her. I don't know why, but she just doesn't have the breast, so she doesn't have any prosthetics or anything there. Um, and but she's been battling with cancer for a while and diabetes. Uh, her grand her so that's her mom. Her grandma had a stroke. But see, this is all the the uh and her mom like was such doing so much drugs and you know I mean what else are you gonna do if the only thing men think you are is is just like some to stick to get their dick wet in you know so she's doing all these drugs and everything has a kid with Down syndrome you know which. And, and I hate the way they treat their kids. They're, they're still doing the same shit that causes them the pain because they can pick on me. They don't have to work on their problem. The police doesn't have to work on their problem because, oh, yeah, well, she said this, so we could act like we're like little six years old emotionally, and we just ain't going to do this. You know what I'm saying? So it might be in our best interest because it is in the Constitution, and our forefathers were very, very smart. And then maybe we should take examples from these intelligent, smart people and do and build our own militia and start protecting our own neighborhoods. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I got to go to what they call the mayor of this area anyway and straighten out this crazy cuckoo cocoa, you know, for because, like, if she, with, if she goes, like, with the police, she's going to get more excited. And like I told the motherfucker, as long as the bitch don't stick her big toe up here, because if we have problems, they don't, they don't have respect. For, you know what I'm saying? There's boundaries. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't paying the taxes on the motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? But the it is a real problem here in Memphis, Mississippi, you know, and um not only that is that also with these um kids having these like with the boys, you know, like uh raping like seven or eight boys having sex with one girl or whatever, um, they got HIV really bad. So then, you know, they get really like this female right now, she's all upset. She, she done, she done got, got two ugly kids because she done fucked, to, you know, some ridiculously um, challenged in their face guys, you know. And I remember, like, we used to have ugly people all the time. You know, either they go and make lots of money and do, like, Trump and just, you know, buy them a woman, you know, uh, from the beauty pageant, or they become very funny or they're very charming and the good stylish dressing, they, you know what I'm saying, they work on their, on who they are, not anymore, but anyway, I think it's something that we should do, uh, uh, uh I think something Black Lives uh, Matter should think about, is that we need to have our own militia, because we need to make sure that the, that the, 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 the laws that are already in place, um, that are not working for us, get amended, like the laws that, uh, Bill, uh, uh, Clinton, uh, it, it, with the three strikes and what he did um, uh, to our, our, our justice system, it's appalling. And what they're doing to women here, like whether like like this this girl up here, she's fucking psychotic. 
it, 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 what she's doing to her kids is, is criminal. But, you know what I'm saying? She can't get cured because, you know, here she has a psychotic uh, grandma, it's crazy, you know, and her, the other brother and sister, you know, they all went through the same experience. You know, so, like, the stop, the stop children like this girl getting, you know, repeatedly raped, uh, you know, by, you know, I mean, she's still with that one guy that she went with, right? He just lives one block over. You know, because, like, that's something we're supposed to, you know, what, what, you know what I'm saying? If the police think they're pimps and they're a gang, you know, we have a real problem with people comprehending what the real thing is. Instead of the police saying, hey, why every time we get extra money in the police department, we don't get a raise? Instead, we'll get another cruiser or you'll hire more police. You know what I'm saying? They, instead of, because, like, that's the most expensive stuff. Is when you when you, it's your employee, you know, because uh, uh, you have to continue paying them that car, you know what I'm saying? In the long run, the, the people are most expensive. But how come? How come instead of like, oh, every time, oh, well, we'll just hire 300 more policemen, but these motherfuckers they get mad at us because they don't they don't have the money. They all work in overtime, which is a good way for them not to be around their children to help them develop and nourish them. Then. So, you know, that, so, like, so then, so anyway, so, like, that's the whole thing behind them uh, um, having to work overtime, because they are trying to destroy the black community through using the children, and you could just look at the kids, because if you, if you start, if you see them when they're, like, three or, and two years old, shoot, five, six, all of these kids have um, real problems, real emotional problems. And that stems from in the house. So we do have to change our way we're thinking. And the one way we can start changing the way we're thinking is protect our children better. Stop whooping them. Number one, start teaching with words. Using, using, and you can use symbols too, like writing, drawing. I seen a good program where they were doing something with the kids. I would like to do something over here, but I'd have to probably interact with them more, you know, once, once they get a certain age, they're so damaged, and their parents are so fucked up, you know, in my mind, because we have, we have, we have HIV problems, we have crack problem, um, we have the pill problems over here, and then we just have the problem of being just dirt-ass poor, we need a militia.